Today's mini bassinet diaper cake will consist of 16 diapers, I'm using size 1, 2 safety pins or pieces of double sided tape, about 5 rubber bands, an artificial flower taken from a flower stem, about 18 inches of ribbon, and I am using a bib, 2 burp cloths, and a onesie. You can use any items of your choice in place of these items. We're going to start off by taking 14 of the 16 diapers, putting a rubber band around them, this direction, and another rubber band this direction. We'll take our two remaining diapers, we'll fold one into thirds, and then we will wrap it inside the other diaper to create a pillow. The next thing we're going to do is take our onesie or receiving blanket, whatever you're, you're going to use. We're going to lay it on top of the diapers in a way that it has a flat top and does not go longer than the sides of the diapers. And then you can tuck that into one of those rubber bands. Then you will take a burp cloth and you will fold it in half long ways and you will wrap it around this diaper cake all around three sides. And add a rubber band to hold it into place. and then just straighten it out a little bit. The next step is to take your bib and your little diaper pillow and roll your diaper pillow into the bib like that. And then place that on your diaper cake on the end where there is no burp cloth. And then you will take your other burp cloth center it over the bib wrapped pillow and pull it down tight on both sides. You'll bring some of the excess up and then you will fold all of that under. And you'll do that with the other side as well. doesn't have to be perfect, you can always fix it in just a couple minutes. When you have that kind of tight, go ahead and put another rubber band around all of that. And then you can fix the edges.
and make sure that the ends of your bib are tucked in and the design is showing the way that you would like it to. The last thing we're going to do is put a ribbon across to hide our rubber band. And I'm going to safety pin it in place, but you can use double sided tape if you'd like. Make sure all your rubber bands are covered all the way around. And then the last step is to add a flower. Uh, you could also add a bow or if you have a really pretty, if this is for a girl, you have a really pretty hair bow, you can use that. Um, you can put it up top, in the front, you could put it on the side here. You can really be creative, put it wherever you'd like. Um, you can even turn this sideways and put it up here, however you want to present it. Um, you can stick it on with a safety pin or double-sided tape. I'm just going to stick mine right here onto the ribbon so there is no hole in the receiving blanket. I'm sorry, in the no hole in the burp cloth. And there we have a small bassinet for a baby shower. These are really easy to make, very inexpensive to make, and because of their size, they make great centerpieces for multiple tables. You could make three or four of these, um, especially if you have a specific theme like Winnie the Pooh. You could have different scenes or different characters on the bibs, or if you use a uh, washcloth or a, uh, something else here, you can have each one with a different character. Also, on these onesies, you can use a onesie that has a design. Just make sure your design is towards the bottom here so it shows when your project is complete. You could also use washcloth or receiving blanket or something else here. Um, and that's it. Very simple, easy to make, fun, bassinet.